and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Gian, and in tonight's top stories, high drama on St. Thomas as four masked men break into a Pueblo early this morning, tripping an alarm. Police surround the scene, and somehow the burglars escape. News Channel 8's Lee Carl was on the scene with Commissioner McCall earlier this morning. We're out here at Long Bay uh, near Mandela Circle. Behind us is Pueblo. You see some of the shots of the officers on the on the uh, roof earlier. Uh, and with me is Commissioner McCall. Jim, uh, uh, I want to find out. I know that you we broke the story early this morning about four or five people in there. What's the story? Is there? Uh, well, Lee, actually, uh, officers responded to the scene earlier this morning. Uh, they did observe individuals inside the building and also on top of the building. Uh, by the time the uh, our TAC team, our SWO team, got together, assembled with everyone else, uh, they made entry into the location. Um, from what we can determine at this time, apparently they exited through a back door. Uh, we do have uh, evidence on the inside of the building. We're processing the scene. It's still a little early. Uh, but at this time, we're, we're still processing. Uh, this what, is what very early, and uh, actually before 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. and my story broke early this morning about 6 o'clock. Uh, the story we had that they were trapped inside and had triggered an alarm, is that possible? Well, that's the information. We do know that they were inside yeah. when the officers arrived because my officers actually saw them inside of the store right? Uh, and one on the side of the roof when they arrived at the location. Okay, so as far as you know at this point, they exited from a back door, probably with nothing, right? Well, we know they weren't able to get anything. Yeah, yeah right, sir. right, right. Okay. Uh, there is uh, substantial, of course, damage on the inside of the store. Uh, once again, forensics is here. They are processing the scene, and uh, hopefully, we can get some good leads. Okay, this is pretty. Uh unusual we don't have this kind of thing very often do we uh, not very often but if there's anyone that has any information regarding the suspects uh, I am offering in this time that will I'm offering a ten uh, the government is offering a ten thousand dollar reward for any information uh, that leads to the suspects uh, involved in this incident. Now, you, did you speak to the Pueblo ownership, as far as you know? Uh, management is here. Uh, yeah. We've been we've been discussing some things with with yeah. the managers. And what about our IRB people? Are they be go to be able to go to work or what? Yeah, what we're doing now is we're still treating the uh, parking lot area as a crime scene. Uh, what we will do is we'll allow them to park their cars. Uh, uh, Stand by, please. Either next door or over in the Wendy's parking lot and let them walk in because we're still processing uh, that area. Uh, I'd like to thank the community for bearing with us this morning. I know the traffic has been horrible, but there are certain things that we have to do uh, to try to, uh, uh, to not only secure the area, but also uh, uh, protect, protect the citizenry. So uh, I apologize for having tied up the traffic. It was something that we had to do this morning, and uh, but everything should be back to normal within the next uh, five minutes. Commissioner, I just want to see if this is Addy on the line. Is that you, Addy? No, okay, all right. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I did an initial report, so mm -hmm. pretty much uh, the traffic's going to move now, right? Yes, sir. And I think earlier this morning you also advised the public yes, we to did. try to avoid this area. And I really appreciate you for doing that for us. And uh, but everything should be back to normal as soon as we finish processing the scene. But at this time, uh, we don't want anyone to come to the parking area at Long Bay uh, in the Pueblo area because we're still we're still treating that as a crime scene. Very good. Who is okay. here? Marshals? Who else? Uh, uh, Superior Court Marshals, U.S. Marshals. Uh, we had health. We had all of the lo uh, all of the territorial law enforcement agencies. Following my talk with the commissioner, we learned that they picked up one suspect behind Pueblo near the Scott Hotel with clothing that matched uh, surveillance cameras and two weapons. That person is now being questioned as one of the suspects in this incident. In St. Thomas at Pueblo Long Bay, Lee Carl for News Channel 8. And in other stories, it was a busy weekend for the Virgin Islands Police Department as a young man escapes from the YRC. News Channel 8's Wes Small reports on this story and other stories from the crime blotter. Right at 9 o'clock on Saturday night, as police found a gunshot victim in Mount Pleasant near Ramco. Uh, leaving the scene was a Grand Vitara. A suspect was seen with gray or white shirt with black pants. That's one. 
Then at 5 a.m. Saturday morning, police found the shooting victim in Gallows Bay near the treatment center. This victim, 33 years old, and he was taken to Juan Louis Hospital. Also, Youth Rehabilitation Center, the Human Services, and the VIPD are all looking for a 17-year-old. Here's what happened. Apparently, uh, he was at a beekeeping class um, that uh, over the weekend on Saturday and he asked um, to go to the restroom. It was a beekeeping class at the University of Virgin Islands, a field trip, when Kareem Lewis, five foot six, you see his picture here, he weighs 133 pounds, never came back from the bathroom. Now, Lewis's family, the VIPD, and YRC officers were immediately notified about his escape. They searched for him over the weekend, and again, Lewis is five foot six. He's 133 pounds. He has a dark complexion and close cropped hair. He also has a tattoo on his right shoulder with two daggers overlaid by a cross. Apparently, Lewis frequents the Williams Delight and Estate Catherine's Rest area on St. Croix. If you know anything about Kareem Lewis or you have seen him, you are asked to notify Detective Claudette Sutton in the Juvenile Bureau, 778-2211, extension 2048. Persons assisting Kareem Lewis to evade recapture can and will be charged with a criminal offense. If you see this man, you should definitely call 778-2211, extension 204. And a very busy weekend for the Virgin Island Police Department. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.